Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to make a, a propeller like this for use in things like boats or or whatever, or even an aeroplane. Obviously, an aeroplane one wouldn't quite look like this, but you can change it as you wish. The general idea is you've got a central kind of hub here, and you've got a, a, a series of blades that kind of twist, um, that start out and then twist, and have that kind of classic blade-looking um, propeller-looking um, visual to them. So let's get started. Okay, so here we go from our default screen now. So the first thing we want to do is delete our uh, start that default cube there. What I'm going to do now is create a uh, cylinder, and this is going to act as the central kind of hub of our uh, three-bladed propeller. The next thing I'm going to do is create a plane. Okay, there we go. Now the plane is in the wrong position there, so and I want to put the plane on its side, so I'm going to rotate that by 90 degrees by pressing R, Y, and then type in 90 on the keyboard and press return or enter. There we go, and that's now rotated it. And if I just move that out, you can see what it's done with our basic um, plane. Okay, I'm going to view this from the side by pressing uh, number pad 3. There we go. Um, and I'm going to scale this by pressing S and then grabbing, sorry, grabbing the green uh, arrow there, pressing left key on the green arrow, and then pressing scale, and that allows us just to scale in the horizontal plane, like so. Uh, well, I'm happy. That's that. Okay. Uh, I think I might just scale it back a little bit there. Um, Actually, I might just, all I have to do really is just move it in a bit. No, I'll just get it back too far. How about that? Now I'm going to press, uh, go into edit, which is your tab key, and that's now editing uh, the plane. I'm going to grab one of those there and just move it in a bit, like so. And I think I'm going to move that one out a bit, like so, like that. Okay, we'll see what I'm up to in a minute. Let's just bring that out there just to have a look at what we're doing. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is, let's just bring this in a bit so I can see a bit more of what I'm doing. I'm going to go in here, uh, that button there, the, that's the spanner one, add a modifier, and I'm going to do subdivision surface. Okay. As you can see, that starts to basically add some subdivisions and make it a bit more rounded. We do want some of that rounded effect, but not on all of the uh, plane there. So, if I now go into edit mode, I can highlight some of these edges, like that one. And just by pressing shift, I can have more highlighted edges, like that. In fact, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, and I just want to bring in another edit screen there by pressing N and I can add a mean crease there which means it kind of creates a harder edge yeah so as I increase it that's what happens there and in fact I might just um, I'm not just going to do that just yet what I'm going to do now I will uh, go into our edit mode and I'm going to add a loop cut and slide there we go I want it kind of central there we go so you add it there and actually I'm going to bias that probably towards the, the bottom end of that blade there like that there we go and now we've kind of got a nice curve there on the top of the front of our blade and a, and a kind of sharper uh, trailing curve on the what would be the rear end of our blade like so and that's the kind of shape I'm going for Let's exit that now. If we just have a quick look around, you'll see that's a completely flat blade. Okay, but that's not how blades work on a propeller of any type. They kind of twist a lot. Now I want to give that blade a bit of thickness. Okay, where I'm going to do that, I'm happy with the shape, so I'm going to apply our modifier here, which is our, which is our kind of subsurf modifier. I'm going to apply that. There we go. And if we click edit, go into edit mode now by pressing the tab key. You see how that's divided that up into uh, a series of basically uh, um, planes. Let's highlight all of those planes by 
pressing A. Okay, and let's extrude some of those. That make give it a bit of thickness by pressing E. There we go. I'm just grabbing that arrow there. And now you can see we're adding a bit of thickness to our blade, like so. Yeah, because everything in the real world has a bit of thickness. It's not an infinite, in, just a kind of a, one single plane in space. Even if that plane is very thin. Okay, let's exit that now. So now we have the basis of our blade and we've given it some three dimensional thickness. What I want to do now is add a modifier. Oh, actually, before I do that, I want to change our, our access point on this blade. And the way I'm going to do that is uh, I'm going to relocate our cursor. Okay, um, object. I'm going to basically snap our cursor back into the center like so. Our cursor is now in the center. I'm going to highlight this object by right, right keying on the mouse. And I'm going to transform our origin to the 3D cursor. There we go. And it's done. And what that means now is when we uh, create any kind of rotational uh, function on that blade, it rotates it around that center point rather than the middle of our blade. And that, that will um, that's going to come in very useful right now when I add a modifier and the modifier I want to add is called a simple deform there we go and nothing has happened even though we've got a twist we want to apply a twist it's all a bit convoluted and the reason is we need to add the kind of reference point of that twist and the reference point is our cylinder there that, that's it so now you can see how we've got a wonderfully twisting blade there but it's not enough for me at the moment the default figure is 45 degrees. I want to make it 90 degrees. There we go. If you see now, that's exactly what it does there. It's a nice kind of twisting blade. And I'm going to apply that. There we go. And all we need to do now is if I right click on that blade, uh, I'm going to shift D to duplicate it. There we go, it's duplicated it there. I'm just showing you. So I'm going to... And now if I press R. This is for rotate. Rotating the z-axis, I'm going to press Z. And now I'm going to press 1, 2, 0, yeah, which is basically one third of 360. So there we go. Now we've got two blades. I'm going to do the same again with the second blade, which is Shift D to duplicate. There we go. I'm going to rotate by pressing R, then click Z, and then type in 1, 2, 0, and press Return to fix that. And now we've got our three blades of our rotating propeller. As you can see, there's a slight little gap there. That's no problem. I'm just going to increase the size of our kind of central, central hub there. That's it. Not looking too bad. Um, and I'm going to edit the center hub by pressing tab. And I want to remove the top plane, delete face. I'm going to re remove the bottom plane by deleting face there we go and um, I've exited that now and what I want to do I want to add another modifier uh, which is solidify there we go and if I increase the thickness there I think it's the thickness is it there we go just give it a kind of that's where it perhaps how is the center spindle and now we and now we have our blade